obviously to Minister Josepha Madigan who is uh, kindly supporting us as she, she always does on many of the things that we do, uh, certainly in the council. Um, we were tracing through woodland last weekend and now we're in more refined surroundings today so you never know what you might be doing. Uh, I also I want to acknowledge all the other, um, I suppose, you know, uh, uh, artists and uh, jewellery makers and artisans from the, the uh, craft courtyard who are here and uh, personally I'm delighted with the way that uh, things have gone in Marley. We're really bringing things back to life and that's because of the people who are here every day. Uh, also to, to our own staff who uh, are probably scarpered at this stage but did all the work to, to uh, have the place the way it is and sometimes we take it for granted. But uh, it's, it's a fantastic tribute to them. Uh, in terms of Marley itself, we, um, uh, as you may or may not know, we, we passed the Marley Master Plan. Uh, we, master Plan is a terrible word, but anyway, it's a blueprint for Marley Park for the next 20 years, really. And we passed that through the council uh, late last year. And really what we're trying to do is to uh, establish various sectors in the park where we'll develop um, different activities, active and passive. Uh, and certainly what's happening in the courtyard, the, the I suppose, organic nature of its growth uh, and the way people are coming together and, and events like this are happening uh, are a big, big part of that. So we're absolutely delighted with it. Um, and again, thanks for coming. So uh, enough from me, uh, and I'm going to ask uh, Minister Josephine Madigan to say a few words. Really certainly deserves that round of applause. He does a huge amount of work, uh, particularly around Marley Park, as he said, in relation to the master plan. <coughs> I'm delighted as Minister for Culture, Heritage, the Gaelic, but particularly as, as culture, uh, to be here this evening and to launch the very first exhibition in the Orangery uh, for Kate and for Denise. And I have to say, the burst of colour when you come in here is really just overwhelming, and, and they're beautiful, beautiful paintings, very different. Uh, very different skill sets that you bring. A lot of healing, I think, in, in, in the paintings, uh, which is lovely. And it's it's so refreshing to come in here to the orangery and then see the lovely paintings almost reflecting the vibrant colours that we have around the park. Um, obviously, as Minister for Culture, the visual arts and all types of artistic endeavours are very important to me. And this is one of the reasons why I, I managed somehow uh, with Pascal Dunhu to, to negotiate my budget last year of an increase of 15% to the Arts Council, which is now 78 million. And um, I hope if I'm still in situ uh, later on in the year to be able to increase that again, because ultimately it's the Arts Council, even though our department funds them, it's the Arts Council who give uh, and help uh, artists on the ground, like uh, Denise and Kate um, and other artists. So you should be really proud of this here today. Uh, and I'm really honored and humbled to be around such incredible talent. Um, I think a lot of us, when we come in here, we feel completely inadequate uh, when we see what you can replicate and what you can deliver in terms of your artistic uh, prowess. So uh, I think you deserve a round of applause, both of you. Yeah.